The difference between the common cold and the flu are usually based on the symptoms. Patients who have the flu, and it can be any number of strains of flu, the one that we've been most worried about this year is the H1N1 or the swine flu, but really any influenza, the main symptoms are going to be high fevers, body aches, uh, chills, myalgias or, or, or muscle pain, and general malaise. As opposed to the common cold, which although is also a viral illness, it is not the influenza virus. And that's going to be much more of what we think about when we talk about the itchy watery eyes, the runny nose, the, um, the, the itchy nose, the cough, the sore throat. Those are going to be much more common in the common cold than in the actual flu. Now there is overlap, you can get b both symptoms in both illnesses, but usually if you are coming in and saying, yeah, I've just got a runny nose and sore throat, that's more, much more likely to be cold than if you've got a high fever and body aches and chills. That's very possibly much more uh, going to lead us towards thinking it's influenza. The most usual treatment for the common cold is really going to be just supportive and treat the symptoms themselves. You can take over-the-counter medicine. Many of them have anti-fever medications in it, anti-ache and pain medications in it. Um, some will have anti-cough effects. Some will go ahead and dry up your congestion, um, and that, that actually helps as well. Other things to remember, though, are obviously you want to go ahead and stay warm, stay comfortable. You want to drink a good amount of fluids, non-caffeinated beverages, fruit juices are great, water is great, and stay well hydrated. That will go ahead and loosen up mucosa and will also just make you feel a lot better. Anybody that's got a fever or cough or flu or is breathing heavy, they're going to lose more fluids and lose them rapidly. The uh, third thing is going ahead and using either uh, warm, warm packs, whether it's just uh, washcloths that are warm water or some sort of warm compression packs, put them over the sinuses on the face. You can go ahead and get saline nose drops and that will help loosen up some of the secretions in the nose. Taking a warm steamy shower, that's also a good idea. And even sleeping with the head of your bed up a little bit uh, will also sometimes help and help with drainage. In the, uh, in the event of, um, you know, when patients are laying flat at night, they don't clear off the bacteria, they're not able to cough as well, and so being at a little bit more of an angle helps to relieve some of those symptoms, drain some of those symptoms, and allow them to uh, cough up some of the, some of the uh, stuff that's making them feel poorly.